Photo video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can add PNG files into Affinity Photo, use them as a brush, and also ABR files, the newer format of ABR files, Photoshop brushes. Now, unfortunately, Photoshop 6, Photoshop 7, etc., the very, very early brush format is not supported. And so, if you get an ABR file like that, try and import it, come up with an error message, and it doesn't do anything, just will error message. So you can import ABR files if they're like CC 2017, etc. Not certain which version that uh, where it always goes goes down to, but certainly the latest version of Photoshop, you can import those ones. So now the key thing here is view and studio and brushes, and you've got your brushes there. Okay, I'm just gonna actually change the category, so I'm just gonna move it to overlays and then just go down to new intensity brush. That's the key. It's over on this right side menu there. New intensity brush. Set that, and then just go to PNG files. Now these PNG files, a whole range of ones on the Graphic Extras website. A whole range of Starburst designs. There's thousands of other PNG files as well available on the site. But any PNG file can be imported. So just select one of these ones and click open. Now once you've actually done that, just go down there and you can see the actual design there and you go down there and double click on it and you can modify the size as well as spacing and all those sort of things and change the color over there as well make it and I'm just going to apply it quickly just so you can see the, the actual design like that so you just quickly apply it that way now if you want to add an ABR file let's like say again the key thing is it's the newer format so newer format files um, that's why I put the PNG files in into my graphic extras ones mainly so they're supported in most applications like clip studio paint and many more so you can just import them into lots of different applications but import brushes now i'm just going to select that and i'm just going to go up folder and there's the actual cc 2017 format abr file just click open and it will come up with a yes it's done it successfully imported 150 designs have been added straight away. Now it's a bit quicker I know than PNG, but I say PNG is far more universal and it's quite useful to just have that. And you know, so you can add them. And then once you've actually done that, of course, you've actually got all the brushes. What you can always do is you can export brushes and save them to Affinity Photo, its own format. And I'm actually just gonna select one of those brushes. Again, you can just apply that brush there or that brush there. And so on and so on. So there's a whole range of different brushes which can be used as layers, used as a source for patterns, displacements, whatever. A whole range of different designs. And you can, of course, edit the actual brush. So you can change again, change the space in there. And that's one thing, because when it imports it, it just ends up being its settings there. You can actually just modify that and you can change dynamics, size just a click there and you just see you can modify it. Yeah, it's going to apply something at that point. Hope you found this of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Always adding lots and lots of videos every couple of days. And also check out the www.graphicextras.com website. Lots of tutorials on there as well. And obviously go and check the Affinity Photo website, the Serif website. So, because that's a great product and it's really worth checking out. Hundreds of features, brilliant application. Thank you much, bye.